<laughs> seriously you don't want to know how much i've tried to perfect this video i've recorded a lot of videos still this english issue is giving me a big issue now today i will be modeling a soccer ball but before i start i want to say a very big thank you to pedro my new subscriber thank you so much i really appreciate you actually for the first time i saw the name i thought it was the same pedro that plays soccer ball and that is why i'm gonna be making soccer ball but now i can see it's not him so i'm hoping he's from his family so i'm hoping you're from uh, the same pedro's family so nice meeting you guys i really want to um, have chat with you so let's get down to business on how to model soccer ball probably give it to pedro to play so let's go it is very very easy to make just go to create and you see primitive polygons uh polygon primitives and here you see soccer ball so click on the soccer ball right away and you see this place um initially it will be in collectively so you need to click on each place separately and the reason why we are doing this is for the sake of texture when we are texturing we don't have issue with texturing to separate all the faces so great and here it is so uh, i press f to zoom in so that i can see my object clearly now go to edge mode by right clicking and go to edge mode i light all the edges and here go to here we are in go to model and look for edit mesh now click on detach so we've detached the um the faces the edges now we can go to object to select the object and go to where am i going to mesh and you see smooth so um go to the option for the smooth and division levels make it um two and the exponential here the add divisions make it exponential instead of linearly that was there so make it exponentially now smooth you know what is wrong this thing is more smoothing house so what can we do to do this uh, to make it smooth we need to go to modeling and look for what are we looking for animation now come to the form and click on the form and you see Scott just click Scott yes we have it in a spheric way or should I say spheric I don't know I definitely don't know but since we've sculpted we have one stupid thing inside that sculpted for us this thing I hope you can see it but to get rid of that thing we need to go to edit and look for delete by type and history now it's gone if you can see it probably you can see it from your own system now press the um, x-ray back now we see the full stop now we can go to a face and select all the faces now we need to go back to uh, polygons and we'll see extrude now just click on extrude yeah and this place comes to local translation to your own taste to see to, to be precise we can use uh this minus 0 0.1 and division um offset minus 0 0.1 also is that cool let's make it that delete this and object mode click on it and go to modeling mesh display reverse voila yes we have the soccer ball now the next thing now is to test all this so we're going to be using Arnold, uh material so um the one i did yesterday we're going to be using it today so let me click on w and move it up yeah like so now let's texture so let us go to hyper shade click on the hyper shade click on the hyper shade it's loading my system is getting slower slower day by day so i need to do something about this i don't have money to buy another pc but i still need to do some little things to improve the um process so like i did yesterday i think we are having the viewport and the rendering view over here so um i need to go to the material create another material and click on Hanod. under Hanod, you see shader click on shader you have ai standard click on that ai standard i've clicked on it yeah voila we have it so now click on ai standard one and go to color under diffuse go to color click on the color and let you take it to this place and you can click on the file to add the 2d texture and uh, yes click on the folder over here and it will take you to the location where you get your 
stop so let me click on desktop is it desktop yes and reference image okay. this is the texture i used yesterday so let me use it now that isn't text yes it's cool let's go so i have it this is it this is it so now this is the ball here over here so i need to um click the file over here or even this one and move it middle click and drop it on the ball so we have it over here we might not see it here until we click this texture or press six so here we see it but the texture is all over the faces so we need to correct that how do we correct that all we need to do is go to click on the object go to uv and click on the uv editor and when you get there it's gonna open everything you can press f to zoom it out now we have it's something like a benzene shape and one other shape that i don't know five shapes and um, a shape with five angles and another shape with um six um six angles so there we have it go to right click and shift and um control and right click and go to share move this six angles yes this one two three four five six we have six angles over here and i like all this one and here we have five angles so here we see the black ones with five angles so we need to adjust these ones this is not just notes this is not just one um five angles shape we have a lot here but they are just overlapping so as you can see this is it so we are just um using the same face for that so click on um hard on your keyboard scale it down yeah now it's working scale it down to the shape of that black um texture that we have over there you can press f to zoom out so that Ball has faced a lot of or had faced a lot of challenges in its life, and that is why I'm using this texture so that it will be it will look realistic in somewhat. So bring this one over to this. Right now, so you can click on this place also and take it up. I like this place take it off yeah we are good to go and now the moment we go back to the working area you see the magic yeah it's gonna be magic now let's go yeah go to object mode go back to object mode seriously yeah so that's our football or soccer ball to be precise you guys call it soccer ball in nigeria we call it football ball whichever way we have it over here and see the ball how realistic it looks like now let's create a light go to light or even go to rendering and you see the light so let's create um, this light header light so we need like two header lights so create this one move it to this side like like so and duplicate or let's um, increase the light first. What am I going to do? Settings? No, no. I'm going to attribute editor and see here. We can increase it to 20. The intensity, I mean, to 20. And you can duplicate that. Let's take it out. Take it out, take it out so that we have a free space. Now, zoom it out and duplicate by pressing Ctrl D and move it to the other side. And now let's go back to polygons and create plane scale it up yes now let's render and see what we have so before I render not to waste much of our time rendering let's go to the render settings and reduce the resolution to probably the smallest resolution over there so that we just have concept yeah we can use this 40 by 480 let's use that and render 
so probably i'll pause the video and when it's done yep. no need to pause it's fast but still i still need some other lights to see at the other place here and probably maybe that um, intensity is not very high so we can change the intensity so that we can see the ball clearly or we can even use uh, the eye sky so that we have an environment so let me go to edit um render settings again and go to another rendering so we look for environment and background over here click on the background and create sky shader that is going to give us automatic ai sky which is also from the anode so now we need to add material like a an hdr material to this environment so to do that just um, click on it let's go to the attribute editor and here over here click on the color so to take us to the file click, click on the file it will bring the um the folder you can click on the folder now let's look for uh, hdr material i think i have one over here the parking lot so yes we have a parking lot material so let's zoom it out now we have the ball over here let's re-render and see what we look like render render it's rendering yeah we can see the ball now <laughs> this funny i noticed that when i was um rendering the football and i noticed that when i was watching uh, the playback i noticed that it didn't show you guys didn't see the soccer ball itself so this is the soccer ball so i just had to replay the, uh, the record and show you the soccer ball this is the final rendering that showed and this you can see it's shadow here and uh, the trees of the light over here and no the light is not realistic um in relation to the environment but still we see we can see our football here it's soccer ball soccer ball it's soccer ball not football you call it soccer ball sorry soccer ball so and we can see the soccer ball over here so thank you very much once again and i say we shall meet in peace and not in pieces so i say again peace out